An Appreciation of Life Passages on the Land of Happiness states, I have collected true words to aid others in their practice for attaining birth, in order that the process be made continuous, without end and without interruption, by which those who have been born first guide those who come later, and those who are born later join those who were born before. This is so that the boundless ocean of birth and death be exhausted. Found in the chapter on transformed Buddha bodies and lands, taken from the collected works of Shinra. These words are found in the collected works of Shinran. And hopefully by now, everyone who has a copy of this collection has taken the time to cut through the shrink wrap and to take a look at these two volumes. Hopefully, they do not just sit on the bookshelf. Although I say hopefully they do not sit on the bookshelf, Despite my role as a Jodo Shinshu Buddhist priest, I have to admit that the first books that I reach for on the bookshelf are not always the collected works of Shinran. When I sometimes reach for another book and look at the collected works of Shinran, I often smile to myself and think things like, these two books sure are impressive. And sometimes when I look at the two books, I also think, boy, I must be pretty smart to have these books and claim the knowledge found within as my own through association. Although the collected works are probably on my bookshelf more than they should be, I am not too embarrassed by this because you can learn a lot just by treating something with care and dignity, with respect and honor. Hopefully, my kids will look at these books, not as the books not to read, but as the books that contain a marvelous teaching that should be treated with utmost respect and care. Despite all these qualifications, I do nevertheless pick up the collected works and start reading every now and then. The words that I quote at the beginning, for example, can be found on page 291 in the concluding section of the Kyogyo Shinsho. The Kyogyo Shinsho is the work that Shinran Shonin wrote for all of us who are seeking meaning and understanding in our lives. Although the Kyogyo Shinsho can give us insight into a life of meaning and understanding, it is not an easy text. Many commentaries have been written on just sections of the text. Because of this, the Kyogyo Shinsho is very intimidating. On the other hand, it is also a text filled with new discoveries for its reader. I don't claim to know anything about the Kyogyo Shinsho, except that every time I open it, I am always challenged by it, and I am always rewarded by it. It is a work that deserves to be treated with utmost respect and care. I hope that everybody is able to agree with me that the Kyogyo Shinsho and all the other writings found in the collected works of Shinran are worthy of our respect and care. If we can agree to this, then I also hope that we can also discover the meaning of what it means to hold a service at the temple, to remember someone, to remember all those who helped to assure that even somebody like myself could have the opportunity to meet with works such as the Kyogyo Shinsho and to participate in a service that allows me to see how I am a participant in the unfolding of the Nembutsu in everyday life. Or those who have gone, those who have been born first guide those who come later, and those who are born later join those who are born before. This is so that the boundless ocean of birth and death be exhausted. Like the Kyogyo Shinsho, we cannot always know everything about the lives of those around us, but we can, nevertheless, gain a deeper insight into life just by learning how to appreciate life with respect and dignity. 
In learning how to do this, treating life with respect and dignity, we discover that those lies that helped to make our past are not lies that died or disappeared, but are lies that continue to share with us by helping to create the conditions by which we are able to meet with Namo Amidabutsu. In this assurance, our lives become one of constant discovery and one where we do not need to fear the inevitability of our own deaths as well.